Anthony, when he was in a senior in high school, he was born in 42. So we're looking at about 59, 60, 1959, 1960. Here's Joe Biden. And I believe this is well, he was vice president. So it had to be 2008 or later. This is Joe Biden. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law. The Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? Do you support gay marriage? No. Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. I can't believe the American people can't see. So it's clear as day that I guess I guess you can have an epiphany and then change your mind in between there. That's why you that's why you see these people go on with goofballs like Kumar from Harold and Kumar. I think he was Kumar, right? Obviously, I think he's Kumar. I don't know them that well. So you go on with Harold and Kumar. Basically, why don't you just have the interview in a White Castle? That would have been very appropriate on Comedy Central, no less. So you have this, uh, you know, uh, Kumar is an actor. So he was in the White House, but he's not he's not an interviewer. And obviously he's friendly to the president. So you're not going to have any kind of questions or not even pushback. Just, well, OK, well, what happened in 08 then? It's just funny to see these people pander. And we go back to 59. What was the world like in 59? People went back and they were looking at this story and they're saying it just doesn't add up. It doesn't sound right. It Due sounds to protect LGBT. It sounds like pandering. And I don't believe I don't well, I don't I don't believe the story, but I don't blame anyone who doesn't believe the story. It's just not believable. The trans kids who are dealing with all these regressive state laws that are popping up right now. I can remember exactly where my uh, epiphany was. Okay. I hadn't thought much about it, to tell you uh -huh. the truth. And I was, a, I was a senior in high school, and my dad was dropping me off. I remember about to get... So your dad's dropping you off, senior in high school. People are like, okay, that's somewhat unusual, but it could happen. There's no problem there. But he's going to a school. Out of the car, and I looked to my right. So he gets out of the car. It sounds like he's by the school. And two well-dressed men in suits kissed each other. Two well-dressed men in suits kissed each other. I mean, they gave each other a kiss. And then one went, looked like he was heading to the DuPont building, one looked like he headed to the Hercules Corporation building. And I'll never forget, I turned and looked at my dad. He said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. It's simple. No, I'm not joking. It's simple. They love each other. And it's The story could be true. Who knows? It's just not believable. When you go back and look at it. So I had some replies. And, and when you, you know, this is the unfortunate thing in our country, which is this was despicable. But uh, in very often, homosexuality was kind of criminalized. And back then, we're talking about 59. And to my knowledge, uh, Brandon's father was uh, Irish Catholic you really think an Irish Catholic in 59 was like that? I mean, it could have happened, but he doesn't have a good track record. The Democrats don't have a good track record. They like to pander. It's just...